Hey Run Junkies, some of the most popular fitness GPS tracking devices are made by Garmin and when you purchase one of these devices you do have access to a lot of features online. One of my personal favorite features is building a custom workout and I'm going to show you how to do that today. <laughs> If you have intervals or multiple steps in your training session, you can plan all of that out on Garmin Connect and then upload it to your device. The biggest advantage to this is that you don't constantly have to be checking your watch to see if you are on target. So let's get to building that workout. Okay, so this is my dashboard for all of the information gathered from my Forerunner 235. Now a lot of this is good at a glance information, but let's go into the workout builder. You can either get there by going through the shortcut that I have on my dashboard, you just click on the plus and select a workout that you want to create. In this case, I would create a run, but I'm going to show you a different place to go. You're going to end up over here on this sidebar men menu. You're going to go to training under training. You have workout that's going to take you to the workout creator. I'm gonna go in here, I wanna create a tempo workout. I'm gonna select workout type, it's a run, create a workout. It automatically gives you three steps, a warm up, a run, and a cool down. So I need to change this title and I'm gonna change it to three set tempo. And I'm gonna click this green check mark here. If I don't click that green check mark, it won't actually save it. The reason you wanna change the workout name is that when you upload it to your watch, you wanna know exactly what it is. If I left it as a quote unquote run workout, I won't necessarily remember what that means. So that's why I set it to three set tempo. So the first part of this workout will be a warm up. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it at a warm up at one mile. Now you can see in all of these durations, I have time, distance, lap button press, which basically means I will go to the next step when I push the lap button on my watch, the number of calories I've burned or my particular heart rate that I've reached. For the most part, I just use time and distance. In this case, it's going to be a one mile step. Now, you can also change that to kilometers, meters, miles. Now, I'm going to leave this next step blank, but I wanna show you the add more. It's called select an intensity target. I can hit a certain pace, a speed, a certain foot cadence, or different heart rate training zones. Now, this is particularly handy when you are training by heart rate and you don't wanna to work too hard or you don't wanna to work too easy. You wanna stay within the effective zone. In this case, I'm not actually gonna set one, for, but I will show you how I set for speed or pace later. Okay, for the next step, I am going to create an interval set. I'm gonna come over here and add repeat. I'm actually gonna add a repeat three times, but did you see it drop down on the bottom of this particular workout? I'm gonna pull it up right under the warm up, and it's just gonna push everything down a little bit. Now, if I had several more repeats, I can always add or subtract, but in this case, I'm gonna make it three. Now, these intervals need to keep me honest because this is where the magic is happening for me right now. For the run, I am setting it for a one mile distance with a goal pace, and this is where I go in to select my intensity target, of 9.15 minute miles. Well, that is really hard to hit consistently and stay at 9.15, so what I'm gonna do is make a range of 9.10 to 9.20. And I typically end up on the faster end of that interval anyway, but that is gonna be my run interval. Then my recovery interval will be a distance of a quarter of a mile, 0.25, oops, 0.25. And here, I'm not going to add uh, an intensity target because it's a recovery and I know what recovery means. I'm just gonna go super slow just to recover from this 9.10 mile. When I upload this to my watch, then it will start on the warm up. It will then start this run interval of one mile, hit the recovery, and every time it's going to beep and give me a signal that this is the next step and this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I don't have to keep track of it. So my watch will say, all right, next thing you're gonna do is one mile between 9.10 and 9.20. Then when it hits the recovery interval, it says 
quarter of a mile. And then it's just gonna go back and forth until we've done this three times. Now, since I added these repeats, I don't need this extra run interval. So what I can do is just delete that. Lastly, I will set this cooldown interval for one mile. And I'm not even gonna worry about adding an intensity target there either. The next thing I'm gonna do is save this workout. And what it will do is show me a bunch of other information. It will say I can review it and add notes. And that's really good for after the fact, when I'm done with this particular workout, I can go into that main menu of all of my workouts and add notes. But in this case, I'm going to send it to my device. I'll plug in my device and click send now. Okay, so I was running into a little bit of a technical difficulty. Sometimes the battery on the watch itself will kind of get a little wonky, especially as it starts to run out of battery. Sometimes all you just need to do is turn the battery off and turn it on if you're having any trouble uploading to your Garmin. So right now, my computer is telling me that it's working on getting all that information into my Garmin 4Runner 235, and I should be ready to go and use this workout. Now in the watch, I'll find my training menu, my workouts, and then page down until I find my three set tempo ready to use. And that's how you build a workout in Garmin Connect. So what do you think? Did you find this helpful? Do you think you're gonna use this feature? Please leave your thoughts and comments in the box below and give me that thumbs up if you like this video. Also, please check out my website at gofindyourawesome.com for more tips about how to create workouts like this. And you can also follow me on Garmin Connect. Thanks for watching, go find your awesome. Until next time, happy running.